guys. So I just wanted to make a video about the 80 giant sequoia trees that I'm growing. Um, I bought them all off spruce Christmas trees. It was 500 Australian dollars for 80 of them, which is quite good really. Um, most places you buy them from, they're like 50 to 100 bucks per tree. So it's good to be able to get them for cheap in bulk. Um, they're quite big. They were only supposed to be seedlings, but I guess because I had to, because I just ordered them, I didn't pre-order them, so they would have had to hold on to them for a while to be able to sell them. So they were quite root bound when they came. Um, but I've had them in for about two weeks now, and they've already started to grow a little bit. So I don't think that's hurt them too much. And um. The reason I want to go grow giant sequoias is because um, they sequester a lot of carbon. So one giant sequoia can sequester the same amount of carbon as one person emits in their lifetime. There's a couple growing up there that are probably one or two hundred years old and they're already starting to die off um, and there was a couple more there before that have died and been cut down so the lifespan of giant sequoias is supposed to be a few thousand years so what I'm gonna do is I think it's a lack of water that's what's causing them to die early so I'm gonna find a place where they have access to more water because they're so such big trees they suck up a lot of water so i'm hoping that'll help them to live longer but obviously it's a different climate to where they grow over in america so it is a bit challenging but obviously they do grow here so we'll just do our best quite happy that they're starting to grow already because I've only had them in new pots for a couple of weeks so obviously being root bound doesn't hurt them too badly. I just moved these all behind a bit of mesh because one of the dogs kept pulling them out. I'm going to do another video when I put all these in the ground. I'm just letting them grow a bit over the rest of spring and over summer then I'll probably plant them in autumn. So. Yeah, subscribe if you want to see that. Also got this little mystery tree. It was just growing next to one of the giant sequoias when I got it. So I separated it off. I guess it's some sort of pine tree because it came from spruce Christmas trees, more than likely. And I've got a few white oak trees here, which I'll be planning in a later video.